everyone, Machine Elf here. Welcome back to part four of my Bloodborne playthrough. I was doing a bit of exploring to see if insight mattered, uh, and I found the sewer area, which apparently is new. And right over here on this corpse, I found this hunter outfit, which I recognize actually from the opening cinematic, which I happened to watch in between some of these episodes. And it's like the, I guess, just like the opening cinematic standard hunter garb. Pretty cool. The, it compares, interestingly, with the Yarnum Hunter Garb. As you can see, it's worse versus thrust, but it's better versus blunt damage. And it's significantly worse uh, versus arcane, and it's a little bit worse versus fire, slightly better versus bolt. So the Yarnum set is actually better, it seems like. I mean, I don't know how much uh, thrusting damage I'm going up against here. But I think it's more than blunt damage, if I had to guess. I mean, there's the brick dudes. That's blunt damage. Uh, let me just check this out. I honestly don't even know how I got here. I've just been exploring and then all of a sudden was like, oh, this is new. What the hell? Here, let me go up this ladder and see... What's going on? Oh, okay. I remember now. Yeah, so I, I found a couple of platforms that were hidden behind some barrels. And they were located at the kind of like fountain area where the, the biggin is banging on the gate. If you know what I'm talking about. And it was in that area. So that's, that's where we found this. Okay. A little confusing. A little, little bit tough to figure out if I fully explored this area or not. Now, what I've also done in between the sessions here is I've leveled up. I've, I brought my endurance up by one point, my vitality up to 15, which is probably where I'll leave it for a while. Uh, I want to get my endurance up next. So vitality to 15, and now I'm pumping endurance. And then I'll start pumping other stats, depending on like what weapons and everything I'm using. And I also upgraded my armaments uh, to a plus one. As you can see, I did purchase a bunch of all the other weapons in case I want to switch it up. Oh, okay. Is there anything down here at all? No? Throwing knife. Okay, maybe I'll go this way now. Hmm, is there a good way to get down? Uh, maybe I can... Huh! Very carefully. Huh! Oh! worked. Oh boy. Let's get some regain. All right, now just you left. Ages to kill these things. All right, I'll probably just meet you guys back uh, when I find something else that's new. I'll continue exploring, or and I'll either meet you back where we can progress forward, or I'll meet you back where uh, I found something new. Okay, this is different. When I was here before, this bridge was mostly empty. Now there's like a big old ball, which I'm assuming is going to get launched towards us. By the way, I noticed that my insight is down to one, and I know what that is. While I was exploring, I found an NPC summon sign for, like, some old hunter, and he had, like, an axe and a pistol. And I summoned him just for fun and did a little bit of fighting with him. 
and that must have cost an insight. So you have to like spend one insight per summit uh, is what's going on there. So interesting. All right, come at me. <laughs> Look at the way that they waddle. It's a little bit silly. Oh boy. There's a lot of them. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Out of the way. Well, that was eventful. Oh yeah, there's another thing that I found. Uh, I did go up here and get my souls back and got these items, but it wasn't anything important. It was like an upgrade or something like that. All right, let's see if I can get this guy like I did last time. Charge attack, visceral. Now it's just you. Oh, okay. Blood vials. Awesome. Okay, so this is new, I think. I turned back after I got my souls last time, so... Oh, shit. What is this? It's a boss? I was not expecting a boss. Are you turning into a beast, sir? Oh, Father Gascon, or whatever. This is the guy that I summoned. This is literally the same, the exact guy. All right, how do I... Oh, shit. Fucking shot me. Oh, fuck me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's kind of destroying me here. Ah, oh, I, I do not like that. Uh oh. All right, let's heal. Oh, -ho! visceral attack. That's freaking awesome. Oh, what's that smell? <laughs> what? The sweet blood. Oh, oh shit, he got me. me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> man, I wish I had more stamina for this. With the amount of healing that I have, it's not that bad, to be fair. Oh, now <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, I need to stop attacking so often. Okay. Oh, that would have been a good time to shoot him, but instead I messed that up. slaughtered that was my first boss I didn't see that before man I wish I could have fought him more to be honest I got a bunch of insight for that I got an Odon tomb key and we got a lantern uh it's just it's cool to like fight a boss and then take it out on the first try but at the same time you don't get to like learn the boss and, uh, like, really, like, spend a lot of time with it. So it's honestly unfortunate. I'd rather get stuck on bosses and have to fight them a bunch of times. What am I looking for? Oh, it's a key, of course. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Oedon. Beyond the tomb, Oedon Chapel can be found in the center of the Cathedral Ward. Only today the church is abandoned, and some say that the residents of Oedon have all gone mad. Okay. Where did I come from? I came from there. Let's have a look around here. So what was cool about that fight is I was like literally fighting another hunter he had the exact same tools that i had until he turned into a beast at the end i assume this is going up to the chapel So we'll come back here later, I guess. Because I haven't f fully explored Yarnum yet. Oh, item down there. Okay, let's, let's get it. Red Jeweled Brooch. What the hell? Used to gain a droplet blood gem. Uh, it's engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. I don't understand. I don't understand. What? Uh, I don't want to use this without knowing what it does. It's very mysterious. Used to change into a droplet blood gem. I don't know. That's very confusing to me. I'll just hang on to it for now. Oh, and let me activate this. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Oh, wait. Before I backtrack, let me just go back to base and I'll level up my endurance and probably upgrade my two weapons again as well. Okay, see you guys soon when we get back to something new. Okay, so I finally made it back to the area where I thought there was going to be a boss. But I guess the boss was in another spot. Let's see what's going to happen here. I actually forgot where this spot was. Oh, hang on. This looks familiar. What? Oh, it is a boss! <laughs> There's multiple bosses. Oh, listen to the epic music. This is magnificent. Cleric Beast. Jeez, he's approaching quite slowly here. Oh, oh shit, this is gonna be hard. Let's get some regain back. Back up. 
and heal. He tried to grab me. Ooh. Oh. Another grab. Oh, this is gonna be a long fight. It's a lot of health. Oh, you got me. Where, where am I? Where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I'm having a really hard time dodging here. hard time dodging the grab. That's pretty easy. What is that? Just a roar of anger? Or is your moveset gonna change? It's pretty passive. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, it's a pretty passive boss. If you stay away from it, it's really easy to get time to heal. That's a really long range attack. Oh, okay. I, I should have waited there. This is going to take ages. Went in too early again. Oh wait, my, I'm low on health. Forgot. Maybe it's time to use a little bit of oil. Oh! What the hell was that? Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> the opportunity. I really don't know. Oh, okay. Ah, I meant to dodge. I was a little slow. completely missing here. Alright, let's just back up. I'm not sure what's going on with that blood absorption thing going on. Alright, now I'll go in. Nice, I dodged it. Back up. Oh. Yeah, a lot of health. Imagine if I didn't upgrade my weapon, this would have been ridiculous. But, you know, it's an RPG. Oh! Back up. Just get away. Just get away. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> oh, he tried to grab me. Oh, I'm so close. Can't I just shoot you? Yep. 
prey slaughter and it just explodes. It's raining blood. That is so freaking cool. Sword Hunter badge. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're going to be able to buy some new things. Oh, I didn't get a chance to see how many souls, how many blood echoes that gave me. 5,000, I'm guessing. Ooh. Where is it? One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. This is the symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. Coolio. Bunch of bullets. Very nice. Let's light this. There was there anything to find around the corner over here? Nope. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so this is just kind of like a little hidden away boss. Fair enough. Jesus Christ, I'm covered in so much blood. All right, well, let's go back and see what we've unlocked. Return to the Hunter's Dream. Yep, let's do it. Oh, look, I've got insight for doing that boss fight. I'm at nine insight now. That's pretty sweet. By the way, I did level up my endurance to 15, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with for now is 15 on both of those. Seems like a good area because I got my stamina to 100. Uh, and then I'm gonna level some other stats besides those two. I don't know which ones yet. What does my weapon scale with the best? It scales with both. It even scales with arcane a little bit. And then what does my blunderbuss scale with? It scales with blood tinge. So I benefit from leveling everything, it seems like. <laughs> Purchase items. What have we got? Hand lantern. Use weapons in both hands while illuminating the dark. Okay. That's pretty cool. Use weapons in both hands while illuminating the dark. That seems worth it. I'm going to buy that. Oh, I don't need... Wait, why would I need more than one? It's unlimited use. I don't know why it would allow me to... Ooh, key to the gate. Oh, wow, this is 10,000. I better get this. A cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the great cathedral, which I haven't been to yet. The main gate is shut tight on nights of the hunt and could only be opened from the other side with this emblem. In other words, the captain's return. And this emblem determined the end of the hunt. Ooh, we also have the Kirk hammer. A trick weapon typically used by healing church hunters. This is this looks pretty damn cool. On the one side, an easily handled silver sword. On the other, a giant obtuse stone weapon, characterized by a blunt strike and extreme force of impact. The church takes a heavy-handed, merciless stance toward the plague of beasts, an irony not lost upon the wielders of this most symbolic weapon. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I want that. Ooh, I, there's many things that I want now. A repeating pistol? <laughs> oh, sick! Repeating pistol typically used by healing church hunters. I've got all this healing church gear. When did this unlock? It must have unlocked from, like, that, uh... I guess that stuff I found by killing the cleric beast? I don't know. I wish I knew exactly why this stuff was unlocked. Because it could have been unlocked by the other boss I killed. I don't remember his name. It starts with a G. Crafted with mostly metal parts and exhibiting a complex design, the repeating pistol fires two shots at once, making it a ravenous consumer of quicksilver bullets. Okay. Should be used sparingly compared to its workshop counterpart as the trump card in one's arsenal. Interesting. Well, I feel like I'm gonna... I need to buy this. Is there anything else? I'm also gonna buy this. And I'm also going to buy the hand lantern. And we'll just come back for this, uh, this thing. 
Unless... Wait, I forgot to check the stats on this. Oh, look at the stat requirements. 16 strength and 10 skill. Does the other one have requirements? Oh, it does. 11 skill and 8. Okay, well, we have something to look forward to. That's fine. That's totally fine. Let's see if the uh, German is over here. I don't see him. Wait, do we need to repair anything? Oh, we do a little bit. Fortify. We don't have enough bloodstone shards for any of this. Oh, you know what? Let me check the other the other merchant this one uh, that's the same oh we do have something new is it yeah that's the only thing so we've got a new outfit costs insight i think i'd want to get it to be honest the dingy scarf is a holy shawl and a symbol of the healing church from which gaskion would eventually part ways. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land. Similar to Hunter Garb created the workshop, only these are tainted by a, tungent, uh, a pungent beastly stench that eats away at Gascon. Gascon, is that how you say it? Father Gascon. Gaston? Who knows, but I'm gonna buy it just for the, the collection. Uh, I'm down to three in sight. Ugh. Cool. Let's take a look and see how it how it compares. It's worse, but it's better. No, it's pretty much worse. It's worse than all of my other armor sets. I guess it's a little bit better as far as poison. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, this armor is good versus thrust. And then this one is actually better versus thrust as well. Okay, so it... It has some use. It's better versus thrust and poison. It's anti-poison. Oh, look at this. Quite fashionable. I can see my face. That's different. Indeed. I gotta do like a, a healing church kind of cosplay. I don't think I'm gonna wear this for now. I, I prefer the look of this one, but... I might switch to that uh, if I need poison. Some anti-poison stuff. All right. Welcome. What is it? Should I do some leveling here? Farewell. Wait, what's the requirement for the repeating pistol? Eleven and eight. Okay. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me. St uh, we need this to be 8, and that to be 11. Oh, we just barely don't have enough. But that's okay. I'll just, I'll level up anyway, and, uh, we'll do the rest later. Oh, look how, look how much levels, uh, require now. Eesh, it's getting expensive. Okay, then. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Thank you. All right, so what do we do now? I guess we go into the church area. I'm gonna take one last look around Yarnum just to make sure that I found everything. I'm just gonna do a little run through. I'm, and I guess that will give me some more blood echoes and then maybe I'll be able to buy that thing, that cloth before we go into the church. I play this game very slowly, but that's because it's fun. And I don't want to miss anything. All right, see you soon. Dun da da da! Behold, it's the Kirk hammer. I did a bit of farming, and I, I to get upgrade materials so that I could upgrade it, so it's not poopy compared to my other one. I do have my other weapon equipped as well, and I have my blunderbuss as well as the new repeating pistol. There doesn't appear to be any like weight burden issues in this game, so you can just equip whatever you want. So that's what I did. I've just got everything equipped on me right now. Uh, it's plus two. 
And obviously I've upgraded my stats to be able to use it. And what's really cool about these two-handed weapons is I tried out the moveset. It took me forever to realize, actually. But instead of uh, shooting your pistol, you get another attack option. So we've got R1, R2. Well, that looks identical, actually. Well, that's R1. Let's see what R2 looks like here. Obviously, they are a bit different, and you can charge up the R2. <laughs> it's cool how he hops off the ground when he, when he brings the hammer down. And then you have L2. Yeah, and a little shove over there. That's It's pretty sweet. I love it. It's badass. Okay. So now... Time to traverse into new territory. I assume that you guys don't care to see me uh, grinding or uh, farming. So I'm leaving that out. Um, and I assume some of you are going to be annoyed that I'm doing that. Because you're going to think, oh, now you're overleveled. Well, uh, the way that I see it is I'm only grinding to upgrade alternative weapons and whatnot. And yeah, maybe I am a bit overleveled, but I promise I'm not going to level up too much. Like, I think I'm just going to leave my health and endurance here, possibly for the rest of the game, which will leave me uh, more points to put into the other one so that I can try out all these different weapons that I find, because that's what I'm most interested in doing, is just trying out all of the weapons if I can. That's my priority in this game. not what I expected to find. I thought we were going into a church, to be honest. Oh. Again. Really unexpected change of scenery. Now we're in a library. Oh, there's a note. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps her lost master from us. A terrible shame... It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. A spider. Please don't be a trap. Blood gem workshop tool. Okay, so this... Yeah, because when you upgrade these things, it, it shows these uh, symbols. And it's it's got this slot. I think that's for blood gems, if I ever find any. Where is it? I can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them as blood defines an organism. I haven't found any blood gems yet. Unless you count this item. Which I can consume to gain a droplet blood gem, which I think is a, a certain type of blood gem. But I'm not keen to do that, because it's, it seems like a unique item. It's even got a name. So I'm going to hang on to it. I'm sure we'll find other blood gems. This is pretty spooky. Don't tell me there's another boss, like, immediately. Uh, there's somebody there. Okay, it's not a boss. It's just, like, an introduction to the area. Cathedral Ward. Oh, wow! This thing looks very similar to... It just reminds me of, uh... Like, something from Dark Souls 3. Like, Yol. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be... a uh hunter. -huh. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. 
these hunts of everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarn and fun for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I actually do know someone in particular that I could tell. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem... Okay, it's just I... reminding me of the same thing. Well, since we found this lantern here, I might as well go ahead and head over to that one person who's looking for a safe place. I think I know exactly where she is, too. Uh, and tell her about the Odin Chapel. That's perfect. Let's go over here, I think is the fastest. Sweaty clothes. Hey, that makes me- th that looks like the clothing that some of the enemies are wearing. That makes me think perhaps there's a rare chance for them to drop their clothing. That's cool. Hey, drop your clothes. Oh, he hit me. Let's go this way. Yep, this weapon is slow. It's slow, but that's okay, because I've also got the fast version. A straight sword. Let's not go that way. I'll meet you guys when I relocate this lady. Oh, you know what? I already found it. My subconscious knew the way. So what is it now? I might stay away to pass the time. Unless you found me a nice safe place. Oh, I can withhold the information. Why on earth would I do that? No, I'll tell her. Well, you know. An outsider worth a look of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go slit some throats. Get this mess done with. Go slit some throats or crush some heads. Anything else? No, oh, and trust along. Chop, chop. Okay, I'll meet you guys back <laughs> at the Odon Chapel. Maybe she'll be there. All right, we are back. Oh, the hunter. Thank you. To that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Oh, we got, uh, we got something. We got a gesture. I did find out how to do the gestures. I, I don't know why. I just, was, just wasn't clicking, like, the left part of the touchpad. There's also this, like, six-axis craziness going on here that I don't even want to mess with, but let's switch the joy for... Triumph. What's this look like? <laughs> Wait, and how do I do that? I do it up and down two times? Alright, so check this. Yeah! <laughs> if I hold X and I wiggle, I'll do that. I'll do that ridiculous pose. What else can I do? Nope. Oh well. I'll mess with that later. Oh, hello. Oh, this place is creepy. Are you the old lady? Oh, no. I haven't forgotten. Do you think I owe you something? No. Well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess at Yarnum's in, it's all your fault. You're pretty outsiders. Our blood's weed. 
treated by your ilk. So you come near me. I want to, like, just put my sword right through her. There we go. What do you think now, huh? You. Stay away from me. It's very much like witchers. Even though we keep people safe, we are also aboard. As monsters ourselves, a little bit. I'm thinking that way is progress. What's going on over here? Lots of very sp ooh, that's pretty. I was gonna say lots of spooky trees, but also some really pretty scenery. Is that a ghost? No, no, that's a corporeal form. That's definitely like a person. I wonder what is going on. Oh, oh, hello. He got me. Let's hit him back. Get some regain. Well, that was interesting. Always fun to find new enemies. I've been fighting the same enemies for... Oh, I hate these stupid freaking crows. They suck. They suck so much. These are a little bit stronger than the crows in the other area. They have a bit... Whoa! They have a bit more health. Oh, sweet, some more insight. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that now. Wait. Use to gain insight. Yeah, let's do it. The more insight I have, the better, I think. Since I'm not really sure what it does. But I think it could have a lot to do with unlocking things. Unlocking paths, or unlocking NPCs talking to me, or whatnot. I mean, they chose to call it insight for a reason. It's very much like your awareness, I think. These guys look so cool. What was that? Oh, he's just like, it's just his war cry. drops. I'm hoping this is a dead end so that I can go the other way. Hello. Oh. That was awesome. That was my full stamina bar combo right there. You can kind of like attack into your transformation. Wooden shield. <laughs> Okay, there is a shield in the game. Uh, is it a shield or is it a weapon? All right, how do I use it? Yeah, I can block with it. But how much damage does it block? <laughs> I, because it doesn't, it's a wooden shield. I don't think it's going to do very much. Okay, it doesn't have any, any attack. Right, I can see that. A crude wooden shield used by the masses who have risen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beast they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. Yeah, don't want to be passive. I gotcha. Well, I want to test it, to be, to be fair. Anything over here? Closed by a device. Is the device nearby, or what? Whoa, random baby carriage? That's creepy. Yeah, I'm not seeing... 
a device, a lever. So I guess we'll go back the other way. But I gotta try to remember that block is is left trigger. Yeah, there we go. What's going on over here? Of course, it's closed. Alright, let's test out the shield. Let's see how this... Oh, stop that. Block is the other one. Hit me. Oh yeah, it sucks. Alright, I've had my fun. Six blood vials. if I stand in it. <gasps> what the? No! What? Um... I have frenzy? Is that what that said? I'm really scared. My heart rate shot up. That was frightening. Some sort of ethereal beast. It's like over here, I guess. Is it still there? I guess it's like sucking me up. All right, what's going on with this frenzy thing? Is it still on effect or what? I cannot tell. Man, that is, that is creepy. All right, so I'll make note of that. We'll come back here some other time. Hang on, did I get... Did I also get more insight when that happened? Didn't I have four? I think I did. Can I just, like, farm insight? Ugh. I'm wondering if I can just kind of farm insight by running into that thing. I'm not going to test it now. I'll test it some other time. But it's a thought. I mean, if you just walk in there and spend some health to get insight, that's a good deal, honestly. Okay, we could go up those stairs, or we could go down this way. Hang on, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Prepare yourself. It's so weird that, am I like ripping out their heart or their spine? You don't really use your weapon on that backstab visceral. You kind of just like punch into their body and then tear your hand out. It's a little strange. It's not like a traditional backstab. Ah. I think I need my fast weapon for this. Oh man. That did a lot of damage. These guys are weak. Alright, and then we'll get this guy. Oh!
again, those seem like just innocent people that I murdered. I mean, I guess they're they're sick with uh, the beast sickness, but they're still conscious. They're still sentient. And they're only trying to defend themselves, is my point. From the hunters. Nope, can't go through there. Ooh. What am I looking at here? Oh, okay, so we can go up and around. Hello. What you got for me? Madman's knowledge again. Let's just pop it. Cool. And that's a dead end. This as well? Okay, yeah. I must have grabbed an item from there. Oh! Okay, let's back up. Away from the bullets. Ah! some bullets. Ah, the contraption. Oh, that's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Are you a friendly? Yes. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? A hundred percent I'm going to cooperate. Why would I not? Because obviously if I just refuse, it'll close off this dude's uh, quest line. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper. And pray. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. <laughs> Don't Go you on. use the word oodles. Just this is a serious situation. Oh. Fascinating. As you know, the healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. 
blood healing. Why would I need that? Verdenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. Oh, I wonder if these these are spells sense, that we can learn. Everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced healing back spells. to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Very cool. So it almost seems like we've got the Healing Church right here, and we can go down into the depths of the church. And then I bet that other path might be Bergenworth, or Bergenworth is through the gate. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. <laughs> May the good blood guide your way. All right, well, that was cool. So this is going to be a good place to take a break. It's been pretty exciting. I'm completely covered in blood. I love this weapon. It took me a while to get used to it because in initially it kind of sucked because I was used to the really, really fast scythe uh, saw weapon. Like this is really quick and I'll still swap out to it when I'm fighting really fast enemies. But uh, like, it's just so epic. This, like the damage it does is unreal. They're both upgraded the same, by the way, and this one does quite a bit more damage, like 50 points more damage. Thanks for watching, and next time we will go travel up that path to check it out, and then we'll go down into the depths of the church. Oh, let's, let's send off with a prayer. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this. Let's get rid of Triumph, because that sucks. Goodbye.